It was 48 degrees yesterday, so we chose to film today when it's 30. Yeah, so that's how we roll. It does not feel like 30, it feels <laughs> kind of like 20. Yeah. Hey everybody, we are Simple Diversion and my name is Graham. My name is Rob. And today we're going to be reviewing the Gran Habano Black Dahlia Cigar. Love the name. I do too. It's got some creepy backstories, but we'll get into that. <laughs> First, before we do, big shout out, big thanks to Gran Habano Absolutely. for sending us these cigars to review. We have a couple other ones um, that they sent us as well. So we will be reviewing those. As soon as we I'm can. looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to this one. So yeah. thank you, Grand Habano. We appreciate thank you very it very much. Um, this is what keeps us going, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. When companies believe in us enough to, to give us things to review, I mean, we got to do something right, right? <laughs> Makes it worth all those yep. hate. Comments. We're gonna stay strong during this. <laughs> yeah, stay strong during the cold weather and, yeah. and do this review. So Grand Habano is a fourth generation cigar company um, that is run by a father and son team of Guillermo and George Rico and I don't want to I don't want to like get ahead of ourselves here but mm -hmm. when Gran Habano did reach out to us they actually wanted to get George on our show I remember you saying that so that would be really cool um, we did say that we were flattered and, and really interested but uh, this probably isn't the time of year to be right. to be doing it <laughs> yeah. so um, we'd love to do that in the near future hopefully though, sure. spring or summer yeah, uh, yeah we'll get to do that that would be amazing yes too. the black dahlia it was uh, released in 2017 under the stk brand which is short for stay true kid stay so true kid. I, I think that's pretty cool i, I, just, I like i like those little i picture like a a cop show yeah. with a kid and he's like stay true kid like back cigar. in like there back in like the 50s or something yeah. you know or their 60s and like those cool squad cars you know and that's a small line a small batch production line yeah. within Gran Habano that is more um, oversought or overseen overseen, overseen. by George Rico himself just anybody who's wondering if we're drinking coffee with nope. our stogie we are not but we did put it in these really cool coffee mugs uh, from Knob Creek yeah though. but um, we have some whiskey in here thanks to Knob Creek for sending us these yeah absolutely <laughs> thank you all right, so before we get too far into this cigar, we want to light up so that we're smoking more while giving you the information yeah. so that we don't have to cut back and forth as much. So, are you getting anything on the nose before we... Uh... Yeah, so I, I smelled it uh, beforehand, and uh, it was a real rich hay aroma for me. Okay. Real, real rich. Not barnyard, but hay. I'm also getting like a cider or a... Uh, mm. a um, Very good. What, what is that? Tobacco flavor. What is that? Wood. Um, start to the C. Cedar? Cedar, yeah. I'm getting some cedar. Okay, let's get this bad boy cut let's up. Let's do it. Looking at the cigar itself, it is very veiny. You know, you can see the seams. It's not a bad construction by any means, but it's not perfect. I mean, it's... But see, I like it when they're not perfect. Kind of rugged. And it, it makes it, yeah. But it seems like a, a good, even, thorough pack. Yeah. Good quality. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't seem like a yuppie cigar. You yeah, know? it seems like a, a real manly, rough cigar. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is going to be tough to light. Um, it is breezy and it's very cold, so I'm just going to kind of light without toasting. What is your favorite smell? Mmm. I like the smell of tobacco. I do like the smell <laughs> of tobacco as well. Birthday candles and a Christmas tree. A real, a real Christmas yeah, pine tree. Um, steak. <laughs> we aren't drinking any of the whiskey yet. This is we always. If you're new to the channel, again, we we like to pair whiskey with our cigars because we are a cigar and whiskey show. But we do like to give you the the flavors of the cigar first before we um, pair it with the whiskey. To a lot of people, Black Dahlia might sound very familiar. I know there's a flower that mm -hmm. you know it has that name. There are a few songs that have that name recently and in the past. Not Hey There Delilah, but there yeah. are some other songs that are that are named, or I don't know if this is named after or what, but that that makes you kind of like, oh, I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. or, um, so I, I don't know if that was like a something when you when you think of something, you're like, oh, I've I've heard of that before. I'm gonna try that. Like it, it's almost like a 
a cell or where they got the name from. Yeah. Um, there was also a um, 1940s murder of Elizabeth Short. That name might sound familiar. Um, she was murdered in an L.A. neighborhood, and it was highly publicized because of the way she was murdered. It was quite gruesome. Um, I think her waist area was bisected, which means, you know, split open or cut in half. Jeez. Um, so that she was given the name Black Dahlia. I don't know where they got the name here, if it was from the flower or or what. I um, wonder if they even if we, know that. <laughs> yeah, and maybe it's just a cool just name. Just one yeah. us, but I'm guessing the flower though, because it's almost like yeah, they have the flower that plant. I would agree. Back, but but almost, there's a face. It almost looks like a hat on the face. face. Yeah. So this cigar is a multinational blend of Nicaraguan cubita. Uh, Habano, Costa Rican, and Colombian filler. It has a Habano and Nicaraguan double binder and a shade-grown Nicaraguan, Nicar Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper, which is interesting because of the fact that most of that stuff that we just talked about right there is Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> Sorry, now, say, that, now, say that a lot. <laughs> say uh, Nicaragua four <laughs> times in a row. It is going to be a medium body cigar, but a full strength. So yeah. we're doing this right before dinner, so hopefully we don't get sick. <laughs> but we'll can see. I, can I just say, I'm after the first couple draws, I, I I'm very it's pleased. very pleasant. Yeah, it is. This is a limited cigar, so it might be very hard to find. I did some research on Cigars International and Famous Smoke. They don't carry it. Um, there's not a lot of websites that have it. So even better that Grant Habano sent this to and us. They do sell it by the box of 20, and they are roughly 850 a stick. Yeah. So even, you know, not a budget stick, but definitely not something that's expensive. Right. Something, something you may not want to go after uh, when starting uh, for beginners. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for sure. For many reasons. Typically, you want to ease yourself into it as <laughs> yeah. opposed to just jumping off the deep end. But that's up to you. Yeah. The cigar also does come in three sizes. If you're looking to purchase them, it is a, um, a five and five eighths by 46 ring gauge, a 5x52, and a 6x54. I believe we have the 5x52, the 5x52, right? the Robusto. I mean, they're all typically, yeah, this would be the 5x52. I'm getting a lot of wood. Yeah. I, uh, I typically like to get woody flavors in my cigars, yeah. which is why I... <laughs> well, especially in in the winter, you know, it, it, it's almost like a, a like a fire. I think, you know, I think the reason why I like wood is because I like going to like your hardware store and going into the wood section. You the smell of fresh cut wood. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cedar stuff like yeah. that. You know, in your humidors, you have that Spanish cedar. Spanish cedar. Other than the fact that it holds moisture in very well, it doesn't. The smell has nothing to do with your cigars, mm -hmm. but it's. Pleasant and oh yeah, you know that's why people like it too because of that Spanish cedar yeah. smell. Yep. On another note, we've reached out to New Air. If um, if you haven't seen our New Air reviews, you can click those here. We've reviewed the CC100 yep. and the CC100H, which is the heating um, winador. There will be a CC300H coming out in the next few months, and we. Um, we're going to be getting one of those from New Air to, to review for you guys. So yeah. uh, really looking forward to yeah, that, looking too. Forward to it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, gives us more room for storage. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the first cigar I have smoked since watching Darkest Hour. <laughs> so I can't stop thinking about church. You did watch Darkest Hour. I did. Recently? Yeah. Did you like it? I did. I liked it a lot. Makes you want to smoke, doesn't it? It does. And here I am. We actually want to do a video for when it's like zero degrees, yeah. like a cigar video downstairs, and just talk about our top five movies that make us yeah. want to smoke. No, when we do that, <laughs> when we do that, we should dress up. Like find find a way to dress up. Look tight. Even, even if it just looks really bad and it's not really like exactly like Churchill, like mm. just put a pillow in here and then, you know, have some like, get like a little cheap wig. That would be fun. I was just going to say, I'm also getting some spices, a little bit mm -hmm. of spice. Spice and wood. Kind of an uneven burn thus far, but um, nothing that needs touching up at this point, so it might correct itself. It's got a wonderful draw. Yeah. It's not loose, it's not tight, it's like, it's perfect. I, I do like the draw. I, I, really do. I agree. 
I would love to get some of this whiskey going. So let's, we're about a third of the way in. So let's just give you some flavors that we're getting right off the bat here. Actually, pretty pleasant retro hail as well. I, I don't retro hail a whole lot. Maybe only once or twice during a smoke. Um, but very good. What do you get out of the retro hail? Me? Yeah. A lot of burn. I <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was it's usually spice and pepper. Like, yeah. It's just to get a little bit of uh, nicotine. You getting um, anything other than wood and spice? Yeah, so definitely getting the spice on my tongue and some woodiness. Um, Maybe maybe cedar. I I don't know. It just feels woody. Like I don't. I can't tell you if it's pine, cedar, or oak, or whatever. Sweet. But yeah. <laughs> um, and then I do get some cream. Actually, it's not yeah. like a, a real heavy cream. I get hints, but it's good. It's it seems seems like a really well made cigar, really balanced. And mm. um, you know, Gran Habano has some really good prices on their sticks. I don't think there's too many that are overly expensive. And I, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like one of those things where you stick your nose up at like a bourbon just because it's like 22 bucks for right. a while. But then once you try it, you're like, wow, that is really it's good. good yeah. So I am very happy with the quality. The, the burn continues to be a little uneven, but yeah. it's not even a negative. It doesn't right. affect right. it at all. So Yeah, it's not too crazy. No. Really enjoying this cigar. Um, yeah. Would you, if you were to see these in the store, or would you go and purchase them I, online? I would purchase this again. I would... Um, or I would purchase this in the future, um, especially for 850. That seems yeah. like a pretty good buy. Yeah, I would too. I, I like I said, it's very pleasing. It's pleasant. It's, uh, it's just a nice cigar. Yeah. I, I really am enjoying this, and I'm freezing my butt off, but I'm still enjoying the cigar, which says a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> especially on the finish uh, on my palate, I'm getting the woodiness. Mm -hmm. After you know, you, usually. On my palate, I get like toasted bread a lot or baked bread, but now I'm getting like woodiness. Do you ever flavors. just close your eyes and imagine being next to a campfire around and you know somebody playing the guitar over here, a couple over here, you know, talking, somebody telling a scary story about somebody getting bisected? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am going to take a sip from my nice Knob Creek mug. I have Irish whiskey in mine. I have bourbon. I have Woodford Reserve. And I have Slane, which is uh, pretty new to the States. So we, that's another one we got to review. It's like, man, I just don't have enough time to get all this stuff reviewed. Tell you the truth, I don't think I've ever had Irish whiskey with a cigar. Tell you the truth, I don't think I've ever had whiskey in a coffee cup unless it's mixed with coffee. You know, and I, I like this. I like having a mug. But the only negative is that it's so cold, just grabbing the handle. It's freezing, but yeah. I guess that would be the same thing if we had the normal glasses. Yeah. So, so I, I'll say that the the Slane Irish whiskey is very good. It's also one of them cheaper Irish whiskeys that you can buy. But I always feel like I get creaminess from Irish whiskey, or a lot of them. Yeah. And that's going really well with this cigar. With, yeah, the so cream and that cigar. I would definitely recommend this as a pairing. How's yours? How's yours pairing? It's pairing pretty good. Um, I've never paired Woodford with a cigar. Um, I would say, honestly, it's not very good. <laughs> you know, I just remembered, uh... <laughs> like, I, I, I was thinking, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's decent. But no. then again, it's, then again, the bourbon's really cold, I'm not getting the right flavors, yeah. and it's kind of just putting a nasty burn in my <laughs> mouth, to be honest. Well, on that note, let's just end it, <laughs> We're almost done with the video, and I just remember... The cigar was, is good. I was going to get you a coat. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm looking at you, I'm like, man, I wonder if his ears are cold because he's wearing a hat. I'm like, oh, he's not wearing a coat. I'm like, oh, I told him I'd get him one. It's mostly my hands yeah. and my inner thigh. But this is still a really good cigar. Um, odds are you probably haven't had it. I mean, it's it's newer, and it, yep. it's, it's limited. So if you can find it, definitely try. And um, thank you again. Uh, to Gran Habano for teaming up with us and sending us some, some stuff to review. <laughs> this has been the Gran Habano Black Dahlia. Please remember to <laughs> like and subscribe to our channel because we are an awesome community. We have a lot of great followers and uh, we have a lot of fun. So like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Yes, and Did you already say that. Yep. And but there's this thing and, you should. Oh, do. there's the bell. Yeah. And um, if you don't ring it, then shame on you. Yeah, shame. And if you do ring it, you're gonna be notified when we have new content coming out. Every so. time a new video comes up, it'll be it'll right pop on, there your, on phone. your phone. So like when you're having a bad day, it'll be like, hey, Simple Diversion's got your back. Yep. Let's hang out with them. Those two nerds. <laughs> All right, guys, keep an eye out for another whiskey video coming out. Keep an eye out for the Boveda Butler coming out. And um, as always, don't forget to have a whiskey in one hand, a cigar in the other, and good company by your side. And as always, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Cheers. 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 Cheers.